Hey everybody, if you want to auto eliminate choices on a Google form, like say somebody selects Monday at 8 a.m. you want that to disappear uh, so the next person doesn't select it, you, you can use the, um, the choice eliminator uh, uh, add-on, but the problem is we've been finding out that that's not working a lot. You can even see this, uh, this warning from the script writer that says, hey, it, it just doesn't work. So I'm going to go back to an old uh, solution that I used before Choice Eliminator ever came out. And here's how it goes. It's using an uh, add-on called a uh, Form Ranger. What Form Ranger does is like the Lone Ranger. It throws a lasso around a row of data or a column of data and it pulls it over to the spreadsheet or over to the Google Form. So you put all your answers right here. You just put your answers right there on your form response sheet, on a separate tab. I like to title it Form Ranger. You put all your answers that you want right there. And you, you want those answers to show up, you know, on your question right here. Well, no problem. We're just going to use a, a, a Form Ranger to go grab those answers. But before we do that, we're going to create an elimination uh, uh, method. And I'll show you how that works. So I got it on this example over here to show you the formulas. You put all your answers uh, right here. And then you use this little count if formula. Count if over on the form responses sheet, uh, you see this right here, right? Uh, there's the formula. See if you see A4. So uh, basically, what this little formula does is say, how many times can you count Monday at 8 a.m. showing up in uh, uh, this column here, right? So you go, okay, well, for example, if 8 a.m., I'm gonna copy that, uh, I'm gonna paste it right here. If 8 a.m., did show up right there, then in my form, it would count it as one, right? So there you go. All just doing is counting how many times it sees the answer in the, in the response column. Well, uh, if nobody's responded for 8 a.m. yet, then, then it would count out to be zero. Okay, great. So this cell says if B3, this guy next door, is greater than zero, then quote, quote, do nothing. Post like emptiness here, right? Uh, but if B3 is greater than zero, meaning it's one, meaning somebody selected it, then post A4. This is A4. Then you just drag that down for all of these. So this one is, you know, A9, and this one is uh, A12, right? So there you go. You created the formula, you dragged it down, everybody's good. So I now tell Form Ranger over on the Google Form, hey, Form Ranger, grab this column right here. And the reason it grabs that column is because on this column, it'll only say Monday at 8 a.m. if this is zero. And this will only be zero if nobody has selected this yet. But the minute somebody selects that, that turns to one, and that disappears, just like we saw it disappear before. So let's take a look how we do that. Hey, Form Ranger, we want to uh, start you. And we want you to populate a list for us. Please select a time that you would. Please select a time you'd like to receive a million dollars. Yes, that's the question. Let's populate that from a range. What range? Well, let's add a range. What spreadsheet would you like to grab it from? We want to select the sheet that is our form response sheet, the one we're just on. So that will take that one. Next, it says, what is the range you want? What, what sheet? Well, we want the form ranger sheet, not our form response sheet, our form ranger sheet. And what column header? Remember, we don't want the setup. Right? This one was the setup. This was the count if if you look for responses. We want the one that says post to form. Okay, so I titled that post to form. There it is, post to form. I'm gonna post these answers right there. And I'm gonna hit next. We'll title the range. We'll just title the range, you know, post to form, and we'll save it. Now down here I say auto repopulate this question on every form submission. So when somebody picks 8 a.m., 8 a.m. is gonna disappear off the sheet. Over here, it's gonna disappear, and it's gonna repost this list right to here, and 8 a.m. will be gone. Let's take a look. Please enter your name, John, your email address. Let's choose a time to collect a million dollars, 8 a.m., and I'll hit submit. Over here on the form, you can just see that disappear right there. We just caught it in time because, because right here in this column it said 8 a.m. And that means that it counted 8 a.m. one time. And because this says that this box is greater than zero, it posted nothing. And then hopefully Form Ranger grabbed this column 
and updated my form. Let's take a look, submit another response. Let's go grab a time, 8 a.m. is gone. And that is how we eliminate a, uh, a answer automatically. And if I wanna get that answer back onto this form, no problem. I can just uh, go to the sheet, go to the form response sheet, and just delete that and put an X in that box if you want, right? Now we go back here, and it no longer counts 8 a.m. anymore, and we're back in business. And the next time somebody hits submit on this form, it'll update the box, and we can see 8 a.m. will be done. Oh, there it is. Hope that helps.